Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about BitTorrent as it had a few updates today. And we've been talking about BitTorrent quite a lot on this channel because it has massive potential that we talk about on this channel quite a bit. We love, you know, very, very high potential coins and BitTorrent is definitely one of those. So we have a lot of different things that BitTorrent actually does for us. And if we take a look at the last month alone, we've been up 173.35%, which is just obviously a crazy number. We see very, very good increases. In the last week, we do see a decrease of 3.38%, obviously with the market crashing a few times and uh, really not fully recovering yet we're still seeing BitTorrent at that 0 0.0079 so when will we start to see BitTorrent move that's a good question and we're going to go over some of the updates today and show you guys that BitTorrent is still on the right path and why this 5.2 dollar or 5.2 billion dollar market cap is still going to rise very very steadily so we see that 1.1 billion dollar volume in the last 24 hours as well as well as a 660 billion BTT uh, circulating supply if we go to the Twitter I want to take a look at, uh, you know, BitTorrent, what they tweeted. So they said, a new uTorrent beta is released for fresh installs. BTFS scan releases 1.0 front end and basic data validation based on pre-versioned. And then the BTT cashback campaign on BitTorrent speed is scheduled to end of April. And they go down a little bit more. They talk about its um, DLive protocol is working on preparation for public testing of the viewer and broadcast or parts of the application so all of these are obviously uh you know going to be a big deal um uh, they're, they're just one weekly report right here and we're seeing all of these updates all of these uh things happening so this is but um this is <laughs> this is a funny tweet here so all this tweets but no real gains on btt so far i do hope it goes up but the tweets don't help, seem to help much do a coin burn make uh make rocket well i'll tell you right now because it's not going up, that doesn't mean it's a bad coin. It doesn't mean it's never going to go up. It may, it, it possibly means that we're going to see a large rise when it does go up because there's going to be so many different things causing people to jump in and not just one or two little things that uh, could easily you know, just come right back down. So I think BitTorrent, when it does start rising again, we are going to see a very large increase. And, you know, for those who invested in at the 70.0079, uh, you haven't lost money yet. Uh, I think you will gain money. It's just going to be a matter of time. Obviously, we're still stabilizing. And, uh, you know, our previous, just in April, early April, we saw it below that, below that number. So we're still seeing increases from early April. And I think we'll see massive increases here shortly. So let's take a look at the website. If you guys don't know what BTFS is and uh, you know DLive as well, let's take a look at what BitTorrent Token is all doing. So tokenizing the world's largest decentralized file sharing protocol with BTT. BTT is a TRC10 utility token based on the blockchain that powers features of the most popular decentralized protocols and applications in the world. DApps powered by BTT include BitTorrent Speed, BitTorrent File System, DLive, and others in the pipeline. So obviously a lot of things going on here. I would say BitTorrent is one of those uh, coins that does have a lot of utility. A lot of people asking about the use case as well. There's BitTorrent Speed as one of the use cases, get faster download speeds, and BTT Token Rewards. It's available on BitTorrent, UTorrent Web, as well as UTorrent Classic. So if you go down a little bit more you can see how it all works so you just enable your wallet enjoy faster download speeds and then you earn that btt so if you go down a little bit more you can see you can actually download for free BitTorrent web uTorrent classic or uTorrent web if we go down even a little bit more we see BitTorrent file system so btfs is both a protocol and network implementation that provides a p2p mechanism for storing and sharing digital in a uh well, digital content and a decentralized filing system. So if you guys don't know, traditional file storage have many disadvantages, obviously, including centralization or control by a single entity, the ability for governments to censor, higher costs, and low fault tolerance. BTFS is a decentralized filing system uh, supported by millions of BitTorrent user nodes. So we're seeing a, uh, a big deal um, with, you know, soon BTT will be introduced to the BTFS ecosystem to incentivize a fair and abundant file system. So that's coming soon. So imagine when we get BitTorrent file system, obviously their biggest piece of work, um, well, right alongside another thing. So we have DLive down here. DLive is a live streaming community built on blockchain that empowers content creators and viewers. So soon BTT will be introduced to the DLive ecosystem to power virtual gifting, subscriptions, and viewer rewards. If you guys don't know what uh, you know, DLive is, it's basically a twitch.tv or just a live stream platform for gamers or uh, you know anyone to just really talk. So it's a pretty cool platform that I do believe is going to grow with BitTorrent as uh, BitTorrent releases what, uh, you know, the virtual gifting subscription of your rewards. That's going to be a big deal as well. If we go down a little bit more, we continue to see exchanges like Binance and KuCoin supporting it as well as many others. So you can actually see down here as well, supporting BitTorrent 
uh, the airdrop program itself. There's uh, there's a bunch of them here as well. So we have a lot of support by a bunch of exchanges, and we understand that BitTorrent has so many different things coming to us. And this was a great, great thing to see. Um, this did come out this tweet, I believe, yeah, 6:21 a.m. yesterday. They talked about uh, some of these things that they've just got really completed in the weekly report for that 418 uh, week. And I think it's going to be another big week this week. We'll continue to check up on these and we'll continue to talk about BitTorrent. So let's jump into those price predictions for April, May in 2021. But first, I want you guys to know I am not a financial advisor. I'll never give financial advice. So always do your own research before investing. But uh, like I said, you know, this is looking really good. We see BTFS, we see DLive, we see BitTorrent Speed, we see so many different things happening. And if we actually go to their Twitter and go right here, we can actually click on this little picture. And it says, what's your favorite product of BitTorrent and why? Share your thoughts within uh, thoughts to win 20 USDT. Um, so they have uTorrent, DLive, BitTorrent File System, BitTorrent Speed, and DLive Protocol. So obviously there's a lot going on here with BitTorrent. And I think it's uh, very obvious that the utility and use cases for BitTorrent continue to be massive. And a lot of people jumping on board because of that. And I think we're going to continue to see that through the rest of the year. So jumping into April, by the end of April, we could easily see BitTorrent finally making an increase by the end. Uh, I do think we won't make it to our all-time high this week. Um, but, you know, I do think by the end of the by the end of the month we could be right around this 0 0.0125 i would hope for an all time high by the end of may for sure i think that's definitely a possibility but 0 0.0125 by the end of april stabilizing right around there as well so if we go to the end of may you can tell that we you know, really don't have any uh, you know price analysis to go off of because we had a massive increase into uh, more of just a stabilization. So we're now just waiting to see really what this price chart's going to look like. But I do think we are going to see another massive increase like like this one coming in May or June. Um, and hopefully it comes in May. And if it does come in May, I do think we could see BitTorrent really reach close to that two to three cent mark. I think three cents is an all time high and a stabilization right around two cents is possible if we see some of these things integrated in May. If we don't, then you could see that in June, but I'm going to go, you know, some of this stuff gets integrated. We see more updates and projects and because of that three cents is a possibility and then that two cents, uh, 2.5 cents as a stabilization. Do remember that's about a 3x and uh, market cap being 15 billion is not out of the ordinary. That's very easy for something like BitTorrent to do and accomplish. And I think it's something that uh, it should be valued at that price point. We do see a lot of coins like Dogecoin holding up a lot of market cap right now. I do think by the end of May, we will see Dogecoin at a lower price than obviously right now. So we'll continue to monitor that situation as well. Going into the end of 2021, I do think we will continue to increase in the right direction, obviously going to uh, a potential five to six cents. I think six cents being an all-time high, five cents being a good stable spot for BitTorrent. We do have a lot coming with BitTorrent, and a lot of people are going to have to be a little bit patient when, uh, you know, things are going to be released instantly. We're not going to see all five of these things, um, you know, complete and updated and projects done at the exact same time. Obviously, we would see a massive rise if we saw that, but uh, I think it's going to be a release over time. We're going to see in 2021 a lot of different uh, releases, a lot of different projects being completed, and hopefully a lot of different increases throughout the year with obvious corrections that make this uh, price chart a little bit healthier than we currently see. Obviously, we're still recovering from this massive increase in the market crashing, um, so I'm hoping to see more of a gradual increase and more of a healthy price uh, really a healthy price chart that's going to make us understand where we're at currently on BitTorrent. So that is going to be my price predictions for BitTorrent. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with my price predictions, as well as any coins you want me to take a look at. I really do appreciate it, guys. I'll try to take a look at everyone's coins. Obviously, there's so many comments, and it's very hard to take a look at everyone's coins, but I'll try my best. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn notifications on and like the video. I really do appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a good day.